Oh, 
according to my Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will call. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Who then is the faithful and prudent servant whom the Master has put in charge of his household to distribute to them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his Master on his arrival finds doing so. Amen, I say to you, he will put, his, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that wicked servant says to himself, My master is long delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants, and eat and drink with drunkards, the servant's master will come on an unexpected day, and at an unknown hour, and will punish him severely, and assign him a place with the hypocrites, where there will be wailing and writhing of things. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, being watchful is a skill that we need. This is what the Lord Jesus Christ is telling us in his parable of the thief in the night brings home the necessity for watchfulness and being on guard to avert the danger of plunder and destruction, especially under the cover of darkness and secrecy. While no thief would announce his intention in advance, nor the time when he would strike lack of vigilance would nonetheless invite disaster for those who are unprepared to keep their treasure and their life secure at all times. The intruder strikes when he is least as expected. Being from a third world country, a poor country, I remember could be 30, 35 years ago. I used to go with other men. I was a young guy. Being vigilant, it was like a watchful team. At night, to keep vigil for thieves not to come into our community. In almost the like great corners, big corners where thief could come, we have team at that corner in a secret place watching at night. This man, they were trying their best to keep the community safe and what they have in the community safe. This is what the Lord Jesus Christ is telling us, brothers and sisters. We need to be watchful on a 24-hour watch. Our adversary, the devil, seeks to rob us of the treasure which the Lord freely offers. What is the treasure which the Lord Jesus wants us to guard, lest we lose it? It is the treasure of our personal relationship with the Lord Jesus himself, who is the greatest gift and portion of this life. The scripture reminds us that there is no greater treasure on earth 
or in heaven than the Lord himself. Whom I have, have, I, have I in heaven but you, O Lord? And there is nothing upon earth that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. This is what we have, brothers and sisters, in the song. We need, brothers and sisters, to keep vigil, to be watchful, and to give praise to the name of the Lord forever. Brothers and sisters, at the end of our lives, we will be judged. The Lord Jesus chooses to come and dwell in our hearts through the gift and working of the Holy Spirit. He knocks at the door of our heart on a daily basis and invites us to let him enter and he will eat and drink and stay with us. Are you ready for that day, the day of the Lord? the day of his coming, the day of the last judgment. To be ready for that day, we must be vigilant. Do so, brothers and sisters, by putting the kingdom of God first before all else and making God the center of your life. Acknowledging that God knows our needs and provides for us, we join together to present our petition. For the church and its leaders, may the Holy Spirit renew us each day to keep our eyes fixed on Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for government officials, may God guide them to actions that reflect His love for all creation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for those experiencing homelessness or hunger, may they experience Christ's comfort and have their needs met. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this faith community, may the Holy Spirit help us in continuing to grow in grace and virtue. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those who have gone before us, in the light of faith, may they be welcomed joyfully into the kingdom let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. And for those persons whose names are placed in our box of petitions and for all the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. Merciful God, Hear our petitions and answer them. We pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Blessed are Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual joy. Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of, your, of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they before, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come back. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jehovah our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs with your life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our souls, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins or on the faith of your church, and graciously God for peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us show our willingness to be peacemakers. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not willing that you should enter on the night, but on the same morning my soul shall be. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe and bring us to life everlasting. communion song. The earth is replete with the fruits of your work, O oh Lord. You bring forth bread from the earth and wine to cheer the heart. Let us pray.
Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, go find the Lord by your life. Happy blessed day, brothers and sisters. Be vigilant.